What it do, what it do, fam? This your boy Delight. And hey, those who are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Those who are not new, you know what this channel is about, about to do, you know. But we know what we're all about. All right, I want to give a word of encouragement today. Uh, coming from 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, and said, In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In all things give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In your circumstance, give thanks. In the midst of your um, pain, give thanks. In the midst of... Um, Hardships, give thanks. Anything that you go through, you still give God thanks because he is the strength and he is the one that will endure and see you through, help you endure and see you through. He is the one that will guide you and order your steps in every way. So just give thanks. Give thanks for your life. Give thanks for every activity of your limb. Give thanks. Because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Because God loves you. And God knows what you can bear. And he's not going to leave you alone. Sometimes you may feel alone. That's just like that footprints in the sand um, form. When you only see one set of footprints in the middle of the storm, that's the Lord carrying you through it. That's him seeing you through it. That's him pulling you through and said, my child, I got you. Trust me. You're not alone. I got you in this. I'm going to guide you. I'm your help, your present help. I'm your strength that comes to, that, you know, you look to the hills that come into your help. I'm that help, he said. The Lord, he is your present help. He is the shelter in that time of storm. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning and the end, the first and the last. He's the great I am. So all things, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. God knows. You know what? Your ladder is going to be greater than your path. Everything that, hallelujah, that don't kill you is going to make you strong. And God's not going to hurt you. He's just going to strengthen you. Because when we go through things, we're not going through just for ourselves. We go through to help others that goes through the same situation. Whatever God brings us out, that's why he tells us we're overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. We're overcomers. He told us we're more than conquerors through him that loves us. We're more than conquerors. So rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. In good times and bad times, rejoice. But God is right there. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. Man will. Man will leave you. Man will toss you aside. Man will, you know, will abandon you. There's times, you know, 
You could be standing on top of the world and be helping everybody and right there, but then when you get down, where's those people at? Nowhere. That's why you got to trust the Lord wholeheartedly. Trust him. Because that's where your peace lies in. That perfect peace. With your mind stayed on him. See, we got to get our mindsets together and stay focused on the Lord. Because that's the only way we're going to have that peace. And what our mind stayed on him because what? We trust him. And when you trust the Lord, he got this. When you trust him, you ain't got to worry and sweat. That's why I tell people a lot of times if you pray, why worry? And if you worry, why pray? Because the two is like oil and water. They don't mix. Not at all. So, like I said, stay encouraged. And in all things, give thanks. All things, not some. All things. Not a fourth. All things. Not only, not even 99 and a half, all things give thanks. For this is the will of God and Christ Jesus concerning you. Everything happens for a reason. So, in all things, continue to give thanks. Continue to lean on God. Continue to acknowledge him in all your ways. Because he'll direct your path. He'll order your steps. He'll show you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Only if you be obedient to his will. And obedience is the key. And if you fall short, get up and repent. And learn from that mistake. Because repentance is another thing. Because when you repent, God going to forgive you. But you don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Because of the fact. And then take God, you know, mercy and grace for granted. Now repent, turn from that wickedness. And then move to the next step. This is your boy, D. Know that God loves you. So do I. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until we meet in the next video again. I love you, love you, love you. Love you. Peace.